A group of Renfrewshire parents who bought a derelict school plan to transform it into a community village. The abandoned building in Linwood will soon be home to a new sports pitch, cafe and enterprise hub. It's one of the first towns to show the potential of community land ownership. Claire McNeil has more. In this Renfrewshire park, construction is underway on this impressive fort. But soon this nursery class will have a more permanent structure to play in, as bigger plans start to take shape here. This derelict school will soon be demolished and in its place, a community village that's been nine years in the making. We got together because we wanted to regenerate the community. So we're going to be building a community facility that will also encompass a 3G football pitch. Obviously a lot of games are cancelled because of the Scottish weather. This will allow young people to play football all year round. Also within the land we're going to be developing an outdoor forest nursery um, for young children. We do not have a community centre as such now because the community centre was demolished 10 years ago and we have fought very, very hard to get to where we are today. They were able to buy this five hectare site for a pound thanks to an asset transfer from Renfrewshire Council. And it's hoped more towns can be inspired to take matters into their own hands as a wave of urban community land ownership starts to emerge, bucking what's been a largely rural trend until now. It's only been the last two years really we've started to see urban community land ownership taking off. And once communities have got ownership of assets, they can start making really practical differences. So they're not listening to what other people think is the best for their community. They can do what they know is the best for their community. What's been really good about Linwood is that they've been very ambitious about their plans. Um, they've started to buy assets, um, which sometimes urban communities can be quite nervous about. So we're very impressed with what they're doing and hope that other urban communities can learn from them and be inspired by them. As the demolition gets underway, the group hope to start building in August, with the doors opening in spring next year. But for now, this fort will have to do. Claire McNeil, STV News, Renfrewshire.